Hello, my name is uh, Chris. I'm a graphic designer and I'm always a, a dyslectic person uh, that w which affects my uh, reading capability. Uh, this combination of a graphic designer and a dyslectic person have came to me as a making a design for typeface to help people with dyslexia. Let me first explain you about dyslexia, what affects your reading uh, capability and um, so I can explain uh, the concept behind the typeface uh, so you uh, understand the concept. First, I will show you some numbers uh, of uh, the world population uh, which have dyslexia. Um, world population uh, around the world have 5 until 10% of dyslectic persons. In, in the Netherlands, where I come from, is 6%. If you compare that with America, you have 15 to 20%, and they all have problems to read because they have dyslexia. Because they have problems to read, they have problems with their edu education. And not only with your education, also with your job choice. Some jobs you can't do if you got dyslexia. And all the day-to-day -day things like books, internet, emails, uh, newspapers, um, science, uh, medicine information, you need to read that. But if you got dyslexia, you make mistakes while reading. We all live in an information-based world. So you must read also when you have dyslexia. Let me explain you something about dyslexia. Dyslexia means that some parts of your brain don't collaborate. The neurons co don't collaborate. The most common thing and most big problem with dyslexia is, is the reading part. The visual part of your brain don't collaborate with your language part of your brain. The visual part will rotate the letters and mix them up and then give them to your language part. So reading areas, errors will occur. They think in pictures, not in words, in pictures. And they do it without aware of it. It's the same if I ask you, that you say to yourself, oh, I'm so thinking in words today, you don't notice it. And they look at letters as pictures, and they treat it as pictures. So they rotate the letters and as, as a picture, as an object. And that's the reason why they got a problem when they give it to the language part of your brain. If you look at the Western script, there are 26 letters. These 26 letters have, have meaning for everything. On themselves, they got no meaning. Only if they're uh, in combination, they give them a meaning. But if your visual part uh, of your brain rotates the letters and gives them to your uh, language part, yeah, reading problems will occur. If we look at the Helvetica, this is the Helvetica. It's uh, the most commonly used uh, typeface in the world. There's even a movie about it. Um, and typeface is being designed by a typeface designer as even as possible. All the type letters are more or less the same because, they, because there is more an, an quiet experience when you're reading the text. But that's the problem if you have dyslexia. They, you rotate the letters. And if the same, you mix them up all where you, where you begin to read and see the letters. Um, this is some uh, examples for you. Um, the I and the G and the V and the W is look alike. But if you look further, and not only like straight ahead like this, but you mirror the letters, you got more and more um, mirrored letters and 
same letters overall, like the M and N, U. It's it's all the same for a dyslectic person. So and you, they don't not, notice when they're reading. So often they read the text, and you ask, yeah, you you're reading it wrong. Uh, I don't see it because they interpret the letter so. In 2008, I was uh, at the art school and I must do my graduation project. And I want to do something about dyslexia. And these sentences, I heard it all my life. Everybody said, yeah, you rotate the letters, you mixed up, you mirror the letters. And yeah, if you hear that all your life, you, you don't notice it anymore. But when I was reading this sentence, I get a picture in my head, like little balloons of letters, and I tie them down to the ground and do the more, uh, and to the uh, more uh, difference between the letters. Um, I thought, I got something here in my hands, probably what can help people. So I made uh, letters in, in in the design and, and shape them more and more. And when I got them on the, on the paper, it's much easier to read. So I think it, it's working for me. So I contacted some other dyslectics and send them the text. And don't mention anything about the letters. Just send them the text and I ask them, I'm doing a th something about dyslexia. Please give me some feedback. And they were all <laughs> saying, for, I, I need this typeface. And, they immediately see the typeface and they know that was something different. So I know that I was on the right track. So I go on and I graduate with the typeface. Um, this is our, some uh, rules that I have applied to the typeface um, to get the mirror and mixing uh, against. Um, like the bottom of all the letters, um, I have looking the point there. Yeah. The bottom of the letters uh, are more bold, the, so they don't turn them upside down. So simple as that. Uh, Widening uh, the openings in the letters are more wide, so they are easier to recognize by dyslectic people. Some letters I just slightly slanted it because and all the letters will straight up. So there's more contrast between the, those letters and they don't look like each other anymore. Some letters, I only do some parts of uh, the letter slanted. So there's more contrast. But making the descender and ascender higher will make them more stand out. And a common problem with dyslectic people is when they read a text, they read the end and the beginning of a sentence together because they miss the capital. So just to make the capital and the punctuation more bold, they notice it and they going to get confused when they're reading it. This is a uh, movie I have made um, about the typeface. Uh, this will more uh, show you some things I explained. Uh, that when I was graduated in 2008, in 2009 until 2010, um, the University of Twente in the Netherlands has tested this uh, typeface with dyslectic persons. And uh, in their research came forward that they make less mistakes and uh, it was easier to read. Um, so for everybody who is not, not dyslectic, there was the proof and the dyslectic were hanging on the phone. I need this typeface, so <laughs> they, they see it. <laughs> there is... Um, uh, Next to the, the uh, research of the university, there are uh, increasing more uh, schools uh, that use the typeface now. Um, there's also coming a book of David Baldacci 
in the typeface in, uh, published in uh, Holland uh, for dyslectic. Um, yeah, and it's, it's commonly used uh, by many, many uh, dyslectic piece, people and it's so low key. You just install your typeface and you can use it anywhere, just in your internet browser. Thank you. <laughs>